Ooh, what up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with a comic review. Yeah, I thought I'd get out and pump one out before New Comic Day, get, before I get my usual red hood. So we got The Curse of Brimstone, number two. And, you know, this is, um, I'm, I'm a little enamored with this book. You know, I appreciate it. Of course, the Terrifics are boss, no doubt. Sideways doing its thing, very cool. And, of course, the silencer and whatnot. Um, the Immortal Man kind of fell flat with me, wasn't feeling it. But, hey... The Curse of Brimstone, I think, has a nice touch. It, there is some level of Constantine in this, you know. Not Constantine itself, but the vibe of, like, you know, the reluctant hero involved in supernatural stuff. And as we last saw, Joe Chamberlain, the main, our protagonist, made the uh, proverbial deal with the devil, all because he wanted to help improve his town. But we see their consequence to that thing. So here we are. And then we see this awesome splash page beginning. We see that, you know, everything burns. You will learn that in time, Brimstone. So that's what he called him. So it's like, I can pull it back. I can undo this. I will. It's like, and it's like, you can, it's like, and he's like, I can pull this back. I can, I can fix this. He's like, you can't stop. And I see you have, but you can't undo Joe Chamberlain. It's like, you can't create. You can't heal. You can't fight this fire. And in the end, you are going to do what we intended you to do. It's like, no, Mrs. Gerhardt. Gary, Giuseppe, Annie, Dad, I won't let you hurt them. I won't let you hurt them. It's like, I don't want to do this. It's like, it's like, yes, you do. It's like, didn't you? Didn't it feel good to feel them burn? Isn't that what you always wanted? Isn't it what you asked for? It's like, this is not how I wanted them to be free. You can't make me do this. So he's like regretting this. And it's like, you wanted to make this place some biggest place someone would come to. And I assure you, people will come far and wide to see what you did to this place. And no, I can't make your kills that but you will finish what you started. My agents always do. And he's like pleading. It's like, everything burns to Joe. I want you, I, w I know you want to. Turn it all to ash and bone. The home office needs this town to be more amenable to their lifestyle. Your purpose is to provide that. Mine is to make sure that you do. And he's like fighting it, no. And then of course he wakes up in a dream and he's like, oh. and then uh, he's like, okay, okay, I'm and Jesse home. You're home, Joe. And his sister comes in asking, what happened? It's like, after you didn't come back from your cool down time, I went out looking for you and I figured your truck probably gave up the ghost. And I went to find you before, you, before your stupid ass froze to death. And indeed, I found the truck, but no use. I went looking. And he's like, thanking his sister. It's like, Joe, what happened? I found you naked in the road and knocked out. I guess I brought you back and you were half awake when we got here. It's like, you mumbled something about brimstone and then passed out again. It's like, what happened to the room, Joe? to your bed did you set them on fire it's like it's like i didn't mean it's like i didn't think i did it's like i need to it's like you need to tell me what's going on so she asked for an explanation it's like and pretty much it's like the town it's like what's going on it's like pretty much like there's fire everywhere it's like everywhere all at once and then they just stopped i don't i don't know snow came right in after him so maybe that's it I can't, it's like, just, I just, I can't take a look for yourself, so you just see the whole place is frozen outside. Ash, snow, phones are out, cables out, dad is out plowing so the emergency crews can get around. It's like, whatever happened, Joe, it was bad. No, I've seen this. I, this isn't supposed to happen. It wasn't real. And then we just see her sister's concern. It's like, do you know what's going on? It's like, I, and then we just see his powers activate. And of course, she's like, and he's like, what did you do? It's like, I'm sorry. And she's like, what did you do? It's like, I don't know. And he's like, I think I messed up. It's like the la and then he pretty much gives the whole spiel, saying that, you know, the last thing I remember, the last thing I really remember is shaking his hand. I didn't know. I didn't think it was real. He called me Brimstone, and I was Brimstone. I felt heat, fire, and hate, and it was like being drunk or something, like looking at the world through a burning mirror. I think I did this. And he's like, do you believe me? It's like... Your bed was charred. You had glowing red eyes, and you burned my hand. Yeah, Joe, I believe you. The question is, what are you going to do about it? And he's like, what? It's like, the moment Figard ripped up, they found Figard, basically the captain, ripped apart before the snow started. Something bad happened here, Joe, and you're part of it now. This salesman, he did this to you. He tricked you into a bad deal with the promise of persuasion. I'm betting this isn't the first time. I'm betting there are other towns, uh, other desperate losers. It's like, let's find out. <coughs> It's like, internet backup, and no news about what happened here? No surprise there, no one cares about, but there's a subreddit about things like this. This thread talks about a town in Oklahoma where something like what you saw happened in your dream, it was chalked up to being some kind of freak weather accident, at least officially. 
I get this distinct sense a but, but there's a but. There is just rumors and stuff on internet, on websites of conspiracy, but they say that what really happened was worse. And so they just say that there are towns, ones that make it, make the news where things were, I don't even know what you call it. Because nobody cares, because it's not Metropolis, Gotham, or Central City. It's always the same, nobody matters. Maybe. Maybe that's part of it. But I think it's something more than that. They're being prevented from seeing it. And he's like, it's supernatural. It's like, I guess we, I guess we got it. I guess you could call it an urban legend about the salesman. He says he or she comes to a town, makes a deal, then the town dies. Horribly. It's like, the town dies horribly. He doesn't always look the same. And the way the town dies isn't always the same either, though it ends the same way. But why? I think whoever the salesman works for wants to make these towns more like where they're from. It's like, we can't let this happen. And he just like, it's already happening. So we just see elsewhere in New York Hills. We see um, Joe and Annie's father trying to help plow out. They see somebody, and then we just see this person. Hello, Darren. Very nice, but very nice picture, man. The artist, um, Philip Tan. Very, um, very talented. I really like him. So he crashes. And then, of course, his leg. I think he broke his leg. And so he's like, they call me the hound. So she's dragging him. It's like, please. Your son Joseph is failing to honor his contract, so now we have to involve you. <laughs> so, I did this. I, it's like, no, no you didn't. Is this the place? It has to be. It's the only rented room out in town. It's like, what's left of it? It's like, that's, that's enough. You didn't do this. It's like, it's like the salesman did. Maybe he can undo it. And so they're busy doing some detective work, some investigating, which is pretty cool. It's like, they're clothes, but nothing else. It's like he's really not even a person. It's like, I found something. What is it? It's like a ledger. I think it's all his transactions, I guess you'd say. Oh, God, you're right. It's all these towns. It's like, more so many. He destroyed them all. Every town was emptied out. One was drowned. Another fell to cannibalism. I think that's, I think that's what he wants, to make every place a nightmare version of themselves. But why? And it says that your kills, and that we just hear him, all the phones are ringing. Say, like, that's not right, all the phones are ringing. No, it isn't. And then we just see her, her pick up her phone. We just see, hello, Annie. Your father has told me so much about you. It's like... And it's like, it's him, isn't it? Give it to me. And she's like, no. It's like, what are you doing? You, we need to think, Joe. The hell we do. I know what we need to do. It's like, you know damn well, don't you? You damn well don't know. It's like, what I know is that you're doing what the salesman wants to do. I can't, I can stop him. I can use this power. It's like, you can walk right into a trap. He wants this. He gave you the power to use it. He doesn't want you to save your kills. Let me just see. He took dad. He knows you'll try to rescue him by using whatever it is he put in you to burn this town the rest of the way down. He may just have met you, Joe, but he knows you. No. He's like, Joe, who's staring behind you? It's like, you! It's like, you know, I really hoped it's like you'd opt for the hard way. And then you just see, I know you. It's like, not yet, but you're about to. And we just see Annie's like, where's dad? It's like, Annie, stay back. She's like me. She's dangerous. And it's like, oh, yes, that much is true. I think I'm going to like this character. It's like, Annie, watch out. So, Josie, I won't let you hurt Annie. You're more than welcome to try and stop me. Joseph is right, of course. I am like him. Or I was. I had to lose everything to gain everything. Joseph will be like me. You will simply cease to be. It's like, yeah, well, we'll see. So she takes a chair, tries to attack her. It's like, yes, that's the whole point. You know, this is almost admirable. Stupid, but brave. And so she easily takes it. It's like, Joe, don't. She just wants you to use that power. The town, Joe. And we just see Annie. And so the he's trying to struggle to keep it in check. It's like, you will see everything you love stripped away. Until you never had a choice at all. Until you become like me. Until Brimstone is all that remains. So they want him to become Brimstone. And he's like, boom. It's like, so we just see, um, it's like, Joe, I can't, the smoke, I can't see, I can't breathe. So we just see, yeah, I'm outside, dogs and everything like that. It's like, no, I know you hound. I know your future. I see it. I know you burn. And you just see him like this. Finally, you know what you need to do. And we just see Annie get away. He's like, I do not serve. It's like, we'll see. So they begin fighting. It's like, you have power without skill, strength without will. That makes you vulnerable. 
So he gets his, like, you will hurt me? It's like, and I've only just started. You are still only human underneath that ash and smoke. Only a poor boy who doesn't even have a penny to his name. Only Joseph. So he just grabs him by the face. And then Annie hits her with a car. So they do a little team up. So that's the end of that. This has very supernatural vibes, like the show Supernatural. I think this could be a potentially good book. Um, you know, just focusing on the supernatural stuff like that, trying to keep the brother and family safe together and all that good jazz. So, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Give this a good um, 8 out of 10. Thank you all for watching, and I should have more videos up tomorrow.